loved ones plan to hold a vigil in remembrance of the late Victor Morris. The former city councillor, who was shot by a gunman on the doorstep of his Balata residence in November 2019, died in hospital in Martinique two months later on January 28, 2020. Mr. Morris, as he was affectionately known, also plied his trade as a nuts vendor and was well known in the central commercial district of the city of Castries. He made his daily visits to local enterprises which patronized his occupation. Now friends and family are coming together to not only pay their respects but denounce the level of violent crime now gripping the country. They believe the time has come for action, not just pros and the legislation, but rule of law and enforcement. We are hoping and it is the intention that the present government um, and every other succeeding government would take note of the, uh, the level of criminality that exists in this country and do something about it. Not pay lip service to its existence but do something so that we can have the level of peace, the level of quietness that we need so that families can enjoy living in this country. One of the organizers of the vigil, Pastor Franklin Bray, says religious organizations feel the pain of the reports of the impact of violent crime on the society. I definitely believe that no one should have that type of experience at any point in their life. Um, it, it's detrimental to the, the family. It's also detrimental to the community. Uh, individuals should not have to go through this. Uh, where persons believe that there is um, a justice system or there is an environment, uh, a community environment where they can feel at ease, they can be at home, they can walk around, get the stuff done, um, knowing that there are individuals who have committed their, their lives to protect them or even to le uh, enact legislation to facilitate the, that type of um, comfortable living. I think the, the country should be at a point where we don't only assume that it's been done for us, but would like to see those things happen. However, apart from evangelizing, are local faith-based organizations playing their part in the battle against crime? It really does not translate Christianity into what it should be. I, th I believe Christians should be a lot more vocal. Uh, they should be a lot more active. Uh, they should be at the forefront. I think they, they should get involved, get their boots on the ground, and not just preach about uh, or against violence, but I think we need to ensure that we agitate in places where we should agitate to ensure that we have those, those changes made so people can feel better uh, at home. Well, the church can do more, Bray thinks. It should not be insular and confined to working within silos. Um, for many churches, and I can speak um, for my uh, context as a Seven Adventist minister, I, I know that there are a number of uh, departments or structures within the organization that facilitates uh, the, the values that we'd like to see in, in the society. And the challenge is where individuals uh, would remain within um, their religious organization and speak to just their members and not get involved in the community. The vigil in memory of the late Victor Morris is scheduled for Thursday, January 30th, 2019 from 6 p.m. at Constitution Park. Joachim de Plessy, HTS News Force.